You know, somebody made a post on the Facebook Pixel Tunes Radio page, uh, and you know, then Ed started showing off his VGM collection, and uh, our buddy Eric. So I figured, you know what? I'm, I've never, I've actually never shown this on video before. So I figured I'd take a moment to celebrate uh, the different types of video game music soundtracks that exist out there. Uh, now, this is just my small collection. I don't really have a ton, and um, you know, I don't know if they're worth anything. I don't really care. I just have them because I really appreciate the music in these games. And some of which I get because I buy limited editions. So I'm gonna showcase some of the differences between uh, video game music soundtracks, how you can get them, and maybe kind of fill you in on ways you didn't know of getting soundtracks. So we're gonna go with official releases first. These are soundtracks that either came out in the US or came out in Japan that were officially released that you can you know, walk into a music store and purchase. Uh, there's less of that in the US. Most stuff like that is usually through like specific companies or mail orders or, you know, there are occasionally situations where you'll find these soundtracks in stores, but it's very rare. So most of these are imports. As you know, I'm a huge Castlevania collector. So a lot of this is Castlevania, so I'm, not sorry, Castlevania music is awesome. Uh, this was actually the first, vi well no, not the first video game soundtrack I ever bought. Somehow along the lines I lost or got damaged. Uh, the very first soundtrack I ever purchased was Castlevania Symphony of the Night, um, which it was called Dracula X in the Japanese version for the Saturn and that's the version that came, that I got. I don't know why it was called Dracula X, but hey. Um, so this was one when I started collecting game soundtracks. Um, I also had Final Fantasy VII, that was the second one I purchased, but this was one that, it, like I, I bought it because, I, I don't know, actually I, I had my buddy Eric import it for me and I, I picked it up. So this is uh, Contra Shattered Soldier, uh, which I believe is called uh, Shin Contra, uh, if I recall, in Japan. And uh, it's a really cool soundtrack, it shows um, Lucia, I think her name is Lucia, yeah, the female character. And CD is really good. I mean, this is one of my favorite game soundtracks of all time, so I, I had to get it. Just a phenomenal soundtrack. Really great mix of electronic, um, awesome heavy metal, like really good stuff. Um, some of the tracks sound like Machine Head, if, if any of you dig Machine Head, so um, I would definitely recommend checking out uh, Shin Contra soundtrack. Uh, now, all what I'll do is I'll, I'll show you the non-Castlevania uh, first, and then show you the Castlevania. Uh, this is the Final Fantasy VII soundtrack. This is essential to pretty much anybody who's collecting video game music, or really just video games in general. Uh, now inside I actually have something very special. This is the booklet that it comes with, and it's signed, actually, when I met uh, the Earthbound Papas, they signed it. So the, the booklet itself is really cool, but the signatures I just, I had to get. So I brought along my little booklet and had them sign it, which is really cool. Um, I also have the Final Fantasy VII like, manual the, that comes with the game signed too. Um, I lucked out because I was there waiting in line at MAGFest and somebody else was like, oh, I see you have two items. They have a one item only. Do you want me to have them signed for us? Some girl that was standing there, I was like, yeah, sure. So she helped me out, which was really cool. Uh, this soundtrack is a four disc soundtrack, if I recall. Yep, four disc. Uh, the problem is they're, they're all the same color for the most part. They're gold and silver. So I would always get them confused. You gotta look at the numbers themselves on the inside of the, uh, the, the soundtrack. So pretty cool. I dig that soundtrack. And two more before we get to the Castlevania stuff. Perfect Dark. Now this I got pretty cheap, only like five bucks, which was awesome. Um, or eight bucks, I can't remember. But this is a double disc soundtrack. This is also one of my favorite soundtracks of all time. And uh, it's just really cool. Uh, this is one of my favorites, I love this. Good stuff. Uh, Valkyrie Profile, which I also recently got. And this is also a double disc soundtrack. Really good, like sad songs and some cool action battle themes. All right, now we're gonna get into the Castlevania. Um, this is one I've had for years, actually. This is Castlevania one through three, or Akamajo, uh, 
uh, Akmajo Dracula 1, 2, and uh, Akmajo Densetsu. So this is a great soundtrack. Unfortunately, the case is broken, but whatever, I, you know. Pretty cool. Um, this one I've had for years, and it's just one of my favorite soundtracks. It's good stuff. Um, it has these like really heavy reverb versions of Castlevania 3, if I recall. Um, and I think those were actually the uh, Akamajo Densetsu tracks that had the extra layer of uh, the extra sound channel. And so those don't sound as good here because of the heavy reverb. They sound very tinny and very reverb heavy. Um, so uh, moving on, this is the soundtrack to Dracula, uh, or uh, it's, it's called, uh, well this is, a, this is a combination of soundtracks. This is, you can see it, uh, this is Rondo of Blood or Dracula X as it's known in Castlevania Dracula X as it's known for the Super Nintendo. This is actually the uh, Rondo of Blood version. Uh, Vampire Killer, which is also Castlevania Bloodlines, which you can see right there. And then uh, this is uh, the Sharp X68000 version, which actually there's three different versions of that soundtrack on here. Uh, reason being is because of the different drivers that are used in the uh, Sharp X68000 that you can possibly use. So it's really cool. Uh, definitely a, a quality soundtrack to get. Um, this one, I haven't really listened to that much. This is the MIDI collection for Castlevania. Um, I popped it in and I listened to it once. It's basically a bunch of remixes. I think there's even like, if I recall, like an acapella uh, Castlevania track on here, which is pretty neat. So, yeah, I don't know. It's, uh, it's okay. Uh, this is, uh, a lot of this I've shown in past pickup videos, but I figured I'd show showcase it anyways, just because I've, I've not really opened them up and, and shown everybody. Uh, so this is a two disc. Uh, soundtrack for Super Castlevania 4 and it is really good. Oh, and it, oh, I'm sorry, it also has the first two Game Boy games on there as well. Uh, so really, really phenomenal stuff there uh, in both cases. No manual though, which is weird. Um, Alright, so this is Castlevania Chronicles, which is uh, again the Akamajo uh, Dracula's X68000 soundtrack. So this has all the music for that. This has the various different versions of the Sharp X68000 uh, with the various different versions of the songs depending on what driver. So this actually has the entire soundtrack, whereas that other one that I showed before only has a couple tracks. Uh, this is Castlevania 64's soundtrack. A lot more like ambient, a bit more brooding-ish. So, good stuff there. Um, I dig it, I like the soundtrack, it's kind of moody. Uh, but yeah, this is the Japanese release for it, just like all the others, so good stuff. Uh, and then this one is Castlevania uh, Concerto of Midnight Sun and Castlevania Circle of the Moon. Uh, Concerto of Midnight Sun is also known as Harmony of Dissonance. Um, I don't know why they put it like this instead of like this, I don't know, weird. Um, but. Yeah, as you can see, that's the version. So that, that's all the uh, like official releases that are not included with games. These are like soundtracks that come out that you can go and buy in a store or import online. So now I'm gonna showcase uh, some different ones. These are uh, soundtracks that come with either limited editions of games or with other things. All right, now these I don't have, these first two I don't have cases for. Um, I could probably do a makeshift case, but they, they go in other cases of other games. So uh, the first is Soul Calibur 2, which, Jesus, that's going to be really hard to see. But Soul Calibur 2 soundtrack, this actually came with the uh, strategy guide, which I picked up for like two bucks fairly recently. So um, pretty cool there for, for the soundtrack. Um, it's actually got quite a few tracks on it. Uh, this is music from Final Fantasy V and VI. This is a combination disc that came out. And again, this uh, came with the Final Fantasy... Yeah, 
Final Fantasy V and VI. This came with the Final Fantasy V and VI, the Final Fantasy Chronicles or whatever it was called. The, not Crystal Chronicles, but the uh, Final Fantasy V and VI re-release that came out on the PlayStation 1. This was a bonus disc that came with it. Um, I cannot tell you how many times I fell asleep to this soundtrack. Just really chill, awesome music, really good stuff. So that one I usually just throw in the case with um, with some of my other soundtracks, like the Final Fantasy VII soundtrack, I usually just toss it in there. Uh, now, this is the Lunar Special Edition. Now, the, I took out all the other extra stuff, like the box and the map and the, and, the, and the art book and all that stuff. So this is actually the, it's got a making of disc, but then it's also got uh, a music soundtrack as well, which I'll show off, which that's really cool. Um, this, again, same thing, I really love the music on this, on this game, so um, it's, it's, it's good stuff. So I was able to secure myself um, a copy of uh, the limited edition, uh, it, you know, that came out. There was a second version that came out that was like just the two discs, if I recall, but this is the one that has everything in it. So it, it's nice that, you know, Working Designs has always been a company, or what well, was, unfortunately, they're no longer around. But they were always a company that would give fans the absolute best that they could, really nice packages. So um, it was cool to get that with the game when you bought it. Uh, next is the music of Killer is Dead. And this came with the special limited edition. Uh, this is an interesting cover. It's like a really slim, super slim cover. I haven't actually played this game yet, um, but I've been meaning to sit down and play it for a while now. So I'll probably pick it up eventually and uh, start playing it. But I picked this up as, it was like a gift from uh, a friend of mine. I, I picked it for like 20 bucks. So the music CD is included on the inside. And the next one is uh, One Chanbara, I believe it's called. One Chanbara uh, Z2 Chaos, the music soundtrack that came with the limited edition of the game. I ha I've listened to a little bit of it, it's pretty good. Uh, and then this one I showed off when I uh, did a pickups video where I showed off the Sen Senran Kagura 2 uh, Deep Crimson soundtrack, which is really cool. Uh, music on this is also really good, uh, really good stuff, so, yeah. And this is the full soundtrack, too. These are like 32, you know, songs per disc, so the 30 songs per disc, which is awesome. Uh, this is the Chrono Trigger DS uh, pre-order bonus which uh, it has an orchestrated version of uh, a Chrono Trigger track and then the Chrono Trigger medley, uh, which is all also orchestrated. So it's really cool. Um, I've popped this in a couple times and listened to it, it's good stuff. Um, this is a pre-order bonus for Order of Ecclesia. This is sealed. I had two copies, so I took one and put it in my car and it's, it's all banged up and crap. But this one is, is still sealed. And you know, just because I'm a big collector, I decided to keep, keep this. So um, it's only got six tracks on it, so it's not the full soundtrack. But it's nice that Konami used to, you know, release cool stuff with their pre-order bonuses. Uh, this is the last story. Uh, this came out for the Wii. This is the premium soundtrack. Um, now it only has seven songs on it, but it's, it's. I don't know. I don't know why they would. I, I don't know. Some companies like to like release like full CD soundtracks of their games and others just do like a couple tracks off of it. This was a nice little throw in that came with the game when I bought it, when I bought the limited edition when it came out. So pretty cool stuff there. Uh, this is an indie game that came out that um, this, uh, if you've heard of Stemage, uh, he also goes by Grant Henry. Uh, he's one of the members of, one of the founding members of Metroid Metal. He did a soundtrack for a game called Alpha Squad. I picked this up at one of the at like Madfest for like five bucks. And uh, music on here is really good stuff. So if you like hard rock or metal, you'll really dig it. Um, so yeah, Alpha Squad. It's a pretty fun game too. I actually I believe it's an indie title for the Xbox 360 that I downloaded. It's uh, pretty good. All right, we're gonna move on to oddities. These are weird soundtracks or remixes soundtracks that I've picked up over the years. Um, some of these are really weird. Um, first, the Castlevania, we'll get that out of the way. This is uh, Perfect Selection Battle 1 and Battle 2. Uh, this is the first one, and uh, it's, these are heavy metal soundtracks, uh, versions, like remixes of uh, songs. And these are all done, I believe, by the Konami Kokea Club, however you pronounce it. 
So that's the first one. Uh, this is the second one. These used to be really hard to come by. They were very expensive on eBay, if I recall. Um, I got these for, I think, $5 a piece uh, from a local uh, person who goes to one of the trade events that I go to that I frequent. That's the second version. Both of those have really amazing versions of the song, so if you can, try to hunt those down because they're really good. Uh, this is Arcade Ambiance uh, 83. Or no, I'm sorry, 86. Well, that's weird. It says 86 on one side. It says 86 here, and then it says 83 there. You can see it. Pretty weird. Um, this is uh, composed by somebody named Andy Holf, and basically noise pretty much it, it's it's essentially when you walk into an arcade this is what you would hear so it's all background music of various different games there's street fighter there's you know uh galaga there's all the pac-man there's all different types of sounds that you would hear and uh so basically somebody recorded this or you put this together and, and made a cd out of it it's pretty neat so um if for for you long long time uh, fans of Dude You Haven't Played This Game, the first season, I don't know about the second season, I think it was like towards the end of the, towards the middle of the second season, uh, I, I did away with it, um, but the first, like maybe 10 or 11 episodes have sound effects from this in the, in the intro, so it, you, you may, if you ever hunt this down and find it, you'll be like, I remember those sounds. And uh, the last one is uh, Chrono Trigger, uh, The Brink of Time. This is a jazz, like an acid jazz CD, which is really cool. It's all Chrono Trigger music, and it's redone with, uh, with acid. It's like an acid jazz style or jazz. So it's really good stuff. And the last one is Sega CD games. So a lot of Sega CD games, if not all of them, have Redbook audio. Some have uh, audio built. Uh, that, that, that basically streams. Uh, it's it's from the it's from the innards of the system itself. The games you would you would put them in Redbook Audio. You could put it in the CD player and it'll play the music uh, as far as that goes. So it's really really cool that you could do that with the Sega CD game. And there were other systems that did it as well. I believe the 3DO did it. That's about it. That's all the soundtracks I have for you. So um, let me know in the comments below what soundtracks you have. I'm interested. Um, if you want to make a video, post the comment. Post it in the comments below. Make a video. You can't really do video responses anymore, unfortunately, due to you know YouTube being dumb. But um, I, I'm interested in seeing what you guys have. So definitely share those. Um, leave a comment below with the video, or just let me know what soundtracks you have. Let me, uh, let me know. I'm, I'm very interested. Well, guys, that's going to do it for me. Thanks for watching, as always, and we will see you on the flip side. More stuff on the way.